Welcome to a week in the life of my hair. Hey guys, it's Monday and I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along with me on my hair's journey throughout the week. <laughs> I know I'm silly, but really what this is about is to show you how I manage different wash days, when I wash my hair, exactly how many times I wash my hair, and kind of what my general process looks like because I get a lot of questions about that. Also, I want to show you that my hair is not always perfect and styled. Exhibit A, right here. I am starting off this week on day three hair that has been ran in three times, which means that I am super greasy and it is time to go wash this mop. Hey there guys. Okay, so I forgot to tell you out there that, and I wish I had told you out there so that I didn't have to tell you upside down. How about hitting that like button for me, would ya? I'd appreciate it. I'll wait. Okay, <laughs> so I checked the dew points today on the weather app on my phone and saw that finally we had cracked down below 60 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're wondering why the heck I'm talking about dew points, please check out my video on glycerin. But you may notice in the background that I have an all mop top wash day lineup. And I am so excited because when I use these products in good dew points, I have some pretty magical hair days. So that is why I picked these products today. Also, you should totally go check me out. <laughs> you should totally go follow me on Instagram because I actually ask a bunch of my followers over on Instagram what I should do today. And I do that every once in a while. I feel like it's a lot of fun to get some input from you guys on what to choose. So I ask over there if I should use all mop top or if I should do a gelatin treatment. And honestly, the poll was pretty 50-50 when I checked it. So I'm gonna go with the mop top because the dew points are good and I don't know how long the dew points are gonna stay nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these products. But yeah, nasty hair falling out of its braid. Let's go ahead and start washing it, shall we? for about 20 minutes while I did laundry, hashtag mom life. <laughs> and now I am just gonna diffuse. And since I'm still testing out the manly dupe dryer, that's how I'm gonna diffuse my hair today. All right, here we go. All right, I am here to scrunch out the crunch. I let my hair, I diffused my hair with the new dryer as you saw and I didn't time how long I diffused for today. I'm going to say about 30 minutes and my hair was really not very dry. I would say that it was at 
60 to 70 percent dry and i was done diffusing i was not going to diffuse anymore so i'm going to go ahead and scrunch out the crunch i did let it finish air drying i just wandered around my house and did more things in my house while i waited for my hair to finish air drying so now that it's 100 percent dry i will scrunch out the crunch And I almost forgot. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I would love to have y'all around for some more videos. Okay, I'm gonna finish scrunching out the crunch. All right, so these are the results after scrunching out the crunch. Let me show you the back. I I don't have to tell you. I am feeling these results. So, yay! All right, I will be back tomorrow morning to show you how they are holding up for day two. Good morning. You may be recognizing this setup from a previous video. Why? Because it's being filmed on the same day. All right, so this is my day two hair with Mop Top products and the glycerin and the dew points betrayed me. So it's not terrible, but it's not as magical and majestic as it was yesterday. Also, my, my silk scarf that I tied on my head fell off in the middle of the night. So this is kind of like unprotected wild woman hair. I'll show you what it looks like. Yep, that's what we're dealing with. I would like to try and preserve this, but I has to go for a run. So I actually got something new that I'm kind of excited to try out. These are Pony Flow caps. Here, I'll show you. So the cool thing about these, there we go, is that they allow your hair to come out the back and they let it come up high enough that you can actually have a real ponytail. So most caps, the opening is so low that you have to have a really, really low ponytail. But these are designed so that you can wear your hair out much better. And I'm gonna try and not use this with a hair tie. I'm just gonna try and like scoop all my hair up into it. So. This is just an experiment. This is the first time I'm trying it. Almost. This part is hanging out a little bit, but here's what it looks like. How cute is that? I'm really feeling that. This is their athletic one, so it's kind of like moisture wicking material. We'll see how well this holds my hair while I run. All right, I just got done with my run, and I'm gonna get this hat off as fast as I can so that my hair doesn't dry smashed down to my face. So I'm not sure how this went. I'm looking pretty frizzy. I'm also pretty wet. And sweaty. So I'm gonna go drink my second cup of coffee and my delicious smoothie with my collagen and then yeah we'll see where we are in just a few minutes. Okay so I thought I'd share really quick too how I protect my hair while I get in the shower if I don't want to wash my hair. I don't like shower caps like it feels weird showering to me in a shower cap so I actually just use that Resos towel that I've been talking about and showing, with you, showing to you guys. I just throw my hair up in this. It keeps it from getting wet and it doesn't do the weird shower cappy feeling. If you can do a shower cap, go for it. But I just don't like the sound of the water hitting the shower cap. They're itchy. I don't know. I'm a princess. <laughs> this is what works for me.
Now I can go shower. I have a dirty little secret to share with you. I dry brushed my hair. <sighs> I know, I know, I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Let me tell you why. It was my own fault. It was not the product's fault. I tried out that new awesome cap this morning when I went for my run thinking that it would really help not smush my hair and help preserve curls. Well, I made the mistake of leaving the ends completely out and they were so windswept and windblown and tangled that they were not looking cute anymore. It completely stretched out any curl definition I had left and just created a bunch of frizz. So. After being brutalized by the wind and my run this morning, these are my day two brushed out waves. Let me show you the back. I know that this isn't the defined curls, but this is actually a whole nother look you can go for. It's really soft and kind of fluffy. Good morning. So this is Wednesday. This is day three hair. And for whatever reason, I am super itchy and sweaty. And so since I washed my hair on Monday, I am not going to be able to extend this wash day out very far. And lately, my hair has been feeling like it's going into being overhydrated. So it's kind of hard to show, especially right now but my hair stretched out way faster than normal with the Mop Top products. Um, it doesn't usually do that. So it's quite possible that my hair is really craving some protein, but I have a conundrum. I would love to be able to do a protein treatment today, but I have to be somewhere and I don't have just a whole lot of time this morning. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but first things first, I need to go make my smoothie and eat some breakfast and have a little more coffee because these early morning runs are really wearing me out. So I was just running out the door here. I was actually running late, but I just had to show you what my hair looked like after I diffused. I loved it. Okay, so I'm out and about, and I just had to document the fact that I am in West Texas, and it's not windy. Oh, this never happens. This is so cool. Okay. Let's see. I'm still trying to get better at this. Sorry guys, I'm gonna leave this in so you can see my 
my struggles. Okay. There we go. It's not really struggles. Okay. So, here's my hair in 2.30 in the afternoon. I washed it at 7 this morning. And I actually got to, like, wash and style and I did that gelatin treatment and my hair feels so much better. I can tell when my hair is beginning to become over moisturized by how it feels. Like this morning, even before I put it up to go for a run, when I grabbed it and kind of mashed it and squeezed my hair a little bit, it felt damp and I didn't feel the individual hair strands in between my fingers. It just kind of felt like mush. And now, when I grab my hair, it feels like it's completely dry. It still feels soft and hydrated, but it's like dry and I can feel the individual hair strands in between my fingers. So I think the gelatin treatment pulled it back from being too moisturized. Let me show you the back. So there's that. Um, I did just use the flaxseed gel, then I plopped my hair with a t-shirt. Then I threw on some Giovanni foam. The flaxseed gel by itself doesn't just have a whole lot of hold, so I wondered if topping it off with the Giovanni gel would give it a little bit more hold. And I would say that I think it did. It's not crazy amounts of hold, and there's some strange sort of stringy bits in there, but my scalp is clean. My hair feels more balanced. I wasn't going for the most magical curl defined wash day. I just wanted something kind of balanced and simple and quick drying. Also, I grabbed my Dyson blow dryer today to see if drying time would be shorter than compared to Monday. And yes, it was significantly shorter. I've been diffusing my hair for 30 to 40 minutes with the new Manly dryer. And then today, I think it took me 15 minutes and my hair was much drier and it was at a lower heat. So I don't know how that works. But anyway, this is my Wednesday hair and we'll see how this goes. I'll see how long I can stretch this out. Okay, not so pro tip, but if you go for a run or work out with curly hair, make sure you go ahead and like let your hair down immediately after you're done so that your hair doesn't dry completely slipped back to your head. I mean, this is okay, but ugh. <laughs> yeah, I got busy running around the house doing things and my hair dried in its ponytail, so that wasn't good. I'm very tempted to wash my hair again today. We'll see, but here we are. It's Thursday, we're almost done with the week. <laughs> All right, so it's Friday. It's actually the afternoon. <laughs> I washed my hair while my child napped. Let's move this out of the way. Throwing my stuff. Sorry. I let all of my Instagram followers pick my wash day today because I didn't want to pick. And these are the things that y'all picked. And I just had to point this out. So I've been watching my hair finish air drying. I got it like 90% dry and then I let it finish air drying in the cast. And this curl has been so pretty until the end. Look. What? Why? Why did you get tired and quit? The top was so pretty and the bottom just went, eh. Like at this point, I should be out of transition. It's not like this section of my hair is bleached or color damaged or heat damaged. Like, I don't understand. Anyway, I revisited root clipping, which is eh, throwing clips. This is something I'm really 
really not good at, but I wanted to try because I've been really lacking the volume lately. So heck, heck, I let everybody on Instagram pick my wash day, which means that it's a combination of products I've never tried before. And, and then I also revisited a technique that I know I don't get along well with. This is shaping up to be brilliant. Okay, I think I got all the clips out. So I'm just gonna scrunch out the crunch because I think we've had this whole week in the life of Courtney's hair without me scrunching out the crunch. I don't know, it's quite possible I scrunched out the crunch already with you guys, but it's Friday, <laughs> my brain is shot. I don't know what I did on Monday, I have no idea. Alright. Trying to really fluff those roots up and make sure nothing is stuck down. But I'm not running my fingers like through my hair. I'm just kind of breaking it up. Alright. That's what we got. What do y'all think? Y'all got to see it before I did. Ah, oh, there's my mirror. This looks pretty good. All right, so anyway, yeah. We'll see how this holds up. So that was Friday and I didn't do a very good job of showing you how that wash day held up. Um, sorry, I tried. I just didn't get it done. Um, I really liked that wash day. I felt like it was really, really pretty and it held up well. But the next morning I got up and it was Saturday. And for those of you who are runners out there, you know what Saturday is. Saturday is long run day. And after 12 miles running uphill, my hair was shot. Like, not that the curls were gone. I still had beautiful curls in definition, but there was just no refreshing my scalp at that point. I had to get in the bathtub and wash my hair, and I was pretty dang tired after the run. So what I did was, is I actually rewashed with the Bounce Curl shampoo, conditioned with the Zotos conditioner, and then did a little bit of the Blueberry Bliss leave-in and let my hair air dry and actually took a nap on wet hair. Shh, don't tell anyone. But this is my day two hair that is completely product free. Yes, that means that today is Sunday when I'm filming this. So hey, I guess we made it Monday through Sunday. You got an entire week with my hair. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing this. I feel like we need to do another one where I'm not washing my hair every single day <laughs> or nearly every single day because of how sweaty I'm getting. In the winter and spring of this year, I was not washing my hair nearly as much. Even though I was running, I was able to do a really good refresh, but it being fall in Texas, it's just hot. And that means that your girl, your greasy girl over here sweats and I just go ahead and wash my hair. So. Anyway, thank y'all so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I also hope you are having an absolutely fabulous day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.